Hey everybody, I just finished listening to Oakland Mayor Libby Schaaf's 32 minute and 7 second 2020 State of the City address on video. Done different from other State of the Cities because traditionally the State of the City address is done in City Hall chambers before an audience and the mayor has, as she has done in the past, given room to Oakland bands, dancers, and put the spotlight on Oakland workers. Well, this video version did a lot of that, but there's one thing, given what we're going through and have been through, that does bother me. And it's that it lacks some truth telling. This state of the city address reminds me of the Oakland sharing the vision effort where in 1991, 500 Oakland residents, including yours truly, met at the Oakland Downtown Convention Center attached to the Marriott for a day long, actually two weekends of brainstorming sessions. And out of that was to come a book which was really to monitor what city departments were doing to meet the goals and objectives that Oakland residents had agreed upon and appeared in the original book, Oakland Sharing the Vision, which you can actually get at Oakland News Online. You can actually read it on Oakland News Online. Just search for it in the search bar on the upper right-hand corner, and you'll get you'll get there. But I digress. But over time, from 1991 to 1996 specifically. That document that was once a crit piece for what the city wasn't doing became transformed by the city of Oakland itself into kind of a graded curve report card on what the city was always doing well. In other words, hey, we have an objective of street paving, for example. Well, it would tell you how many streets were paved but it wouldn't tell you what the objective was or when it started or the funding. I'm giving that as not an example that applies to what the mayor has done today, but an example of the sort of what someone would call CYA effort that had been made or launched using Oakland sharing the vision. Well, in a lot of ways, Mayor Schaaf's State of the City was like that. It was a, a set of media headlines of projects you read about and what they did and nothing else. By contrast, when I think of State of the City, I think of the true state of the city, where we are and where we need to be, unflinchingly. I get report after report and I see video after video and picture after picture uh, and scene after scene of people sleeping on the streets, of reports of violence, of cars broken into, it's happened to me, it probably happened to you, of homeless people wandering the neighborhoods, of, well, you get the idea. And this isn't normally supposed to happen. We're supposed to have solutions, and it's almost as if we take these activities with a grain of salt and without any remedy. And no, I'm not suggesting that someone homeless should be rousted up or anything like that. I personally think that there should be a, a, a thousand room SRO project. But I digress again. The mayor doesn't address that. She doesn't address the need for jobs. She talks about the loss of jobs. She talks about how Oakland businesses and highlights Oakland black businesses were funded, but not the degree to which funding still needs to be done. She doesn't tell us what we need to do to get better. It's as if we did all this and everything was okay and the future is bright. And we survived, although we had these terrible obstacles to overcome, and we now have a choice between Biden or the dude with the orange hair. And by the way, support Kamala Harris. Great ending. 
but I think we have had quite enough of these reports and these scenes of digital marketing where people always have to show their best side or the best side of the city and that's it. We all love Oakland, but we also understand and know that Oakland is in trouble in a lot of ways and needs to get better faster. And it's around an economy that in and of itself is being mismanaged, but that's another story. So the one thing that we need to work on is we need to work on generating jobs for people. And the rest is conversation. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com and visit my new corporate website, zenny62media.com. Thank you.